Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Chu here. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about some Pat McGrath products, and this is the uh, products with Bridgerton. The second time they do this collaboration together, and I ordered the uh, same six color palette, and also some new formulated lipsticks called Satin Allure. I picked out four shades out of like seven or eight in total, and we're just gonna you know try them out and do a quick review about these products. If you're interested, definitely keep on watching. Let's first of all uh, see some swatches of these products together. So the six uh, color palette for this time is called Bella of the Va, and we do have some different textures in here. So I'm swatching them texture by texture. The first of all is a dry matte. It's called Forbidden Armor. It is like a plum color. And then we have this setting matte shade. If you remember from my last video about Bridgerton, uh, this first kind of, uh, collaboration, I think this kind of a setting matte is so smooth, so silky. It's just very good formula to blend out. So this time they made this peony pink uh, called Regency uh, Romance. And then we have this soft uh, setting, which is the typical, uh, you know, Pat McGrath highlighter shade. This is a pale rose gold called Refinement. And then we have this pastel aqua metallic shade called Daring Dandy. And this is um, not a very smooth or soft or buttery kind of a metallic. On the opposite, it is actually kind of dry. And then we have two of the most appealing eye-catching shades in this palette. We first have this uh, forever charm shade it is that chartreuse kind of a shade which is like a gold uh, with green flips i almost want to call it like a two dual chrome this shade is fine fine uh, more refined than a metallic but it's not like those astral shades which is like you know you can feel the particles so the next shade Diamond's Desire is actually an astral shade, the same as your astral shades from uh, Mothership palettes. This is, uh, to me, like a pink nude. After swatching the Bella of the Ball palette, let's now do a side-by-side -side comparison swatch with the Diamond of the First Water, which is the first palette with this collaboration. And as you can see, for all those shades, you would think they're similar, especially on the matte side. I think this Bella of the Ball palette has like lighter pigmentation or it's just lighter than the first one. Not to mention all the top, topper or shinier shades, they're just different uh, with their different base colors. Um, and also I find this gold green color really, really similar to Pamograph Mothership 3, Subversive this uh, Gigabyte shade. So I'm just gonna swatch it uh, just right beside it. As you can see, I think Gigabyte more uh, has more of a dark base, just light, slightly more. Maybe you cannot even tell the, the difference through the uh, screen, but I, 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 I doubt they would show up that differently on your eyelids, so they're pretty much the same. Now let's see the um, swatches of the lipsticks. Uh, first of all, can we talk about the packaging? It's so like, uh, uh, polarized about this, uh, how people feel about this packaging. I personally, uh, when I'm seeing pictures online, I think it's really cute, really dreamy. But when I'm like touching it in my hands, it's made of plastic and it's super lightweight. Especially pair it up with these light pastel colors it kind of feels cheap <laughs> i i mean the 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 ma matrons i mean the black lipstick ones they are all the same kind of a plastic but because of the packaging is of black color it does feel a little bit more luxe but this one is just too toy like anyways let's see the swatches on the screen you're seeing left uh, to right the first one is veiled rose it is a mid-tone mauve pink uh, the second one is Nikliji. This is a neutral pink beige. And then we have Venusian Peach. This is a light peachy nude. And last one is called Entrance. This is like a warm, uh, flesh, rosy kind of a color. All right, let's now use the eye palette first. First, I'm just gonna use this uh, Regency Romance shade, which is a feeling pink to give a base to my eyelids. 
So same same, this setting matte shade is just very to my liking because you can really just uh, blend it out all the way out and finally settles down as like a pure matte. So I really appreciate this kind of a shade. Then I'm just gonna use this plummy shade to do a little bit depth. So up to here, you probably, probably I wonder, well, this is really similar to the first collaboration, especially with the first two shades, the base and the outer and inner depth shade. I mean, although this swatch differently on your arms, I mean, the uh, diamond first water, apparently these are more opaque, but depending on how much you use this product and how much you blend this out, it's more or less the same at least to me they are then i'm just gonna use the aqua shade to press it onto my center eyelid then i'm just gonna press on the astral shade to give that more of a shine so this definitely gives me instant diamond effect but i need to really just uh, watch for the placement otherwise you're just gonna end up like me cleaning it up <laughs> and i'm now gonna swipe on the soft setting which is a rose gold to my lower lash especially the inner part And the outer one half of my lower lash, I'm gonna use, uh, go back to the um, aqua blue or green, should I say, to swipe it on. So I think these, uh, this aqua green, it lacks more of that punch at the base color that once you touch it, touch it up a little bit, I mean, blend it out a little bit, you're just gonna lose that green or aqua. So, uh, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of this. Uh, so now let's draw another look on this side of my eye because I think this palette does have another very distinctive shade, which is the gold green that uh, is worth to be demoing. Um, and also, I don't really love this side, so let's give ourselves a second chance. On this side, I'm first of all, again, using that peony pink, the lightest setting matte in here to give a base. Then for my inner one half, I'm pressing on the astro shade which you really need to be careful about because it is flaky. So this kind of flakiness and also this kind of celestial shine is really reminding me of the astral shades from Mothership 9 Hiltopian Dream, uh, which you're supposed to use that blue wand by mother so i probably should have purchased that glue pencil long time ago anyway we're just gonna make it work and um on my outer one half i'm gonna use this very interesting golden green color So as you can see, once we blend out this um, gold green color, it uh, retains that dark base of it. So it's like kind of appropriate as a outer uh, V depth shade because you can definitely see that darkness there. 
and I think this color is pairing well with the inner one half light shade as well. Interesting. All right, I'm back with my mascara and liner on. Now I have to do something. I need to clean up the glitter that's spread all over my face. My way of doing so is to use a duct tape. Actually, this is a clear tape. The way to remove all these glitters is not to, you know, uh, use a powder brush to swipe them off because they won't. I guess the only way is to glue them away. It's really messy here. I'm using the lightest peony pink satin mat as my blusher today. Can you believe that? Okay, now let's try on the lipsticks together. This is the failed rose. It's a mid-tone mauve pink. So you do see that blue undertone in this, the coolness of this shade. So this is uh, Nick Litchie and this is a neutral pink beige. Let's try this together. Actually, we have a name for this kind of color uh, among my Chinese girl community. They call this kind of like a milk tea kind of a color because you can see that brown or that, I don't know, just that beige underneath. And they love to pair this kind of a lipstick up with uh, earthy palettes or just light makeup. Yeah, it's just gonna make you feel so, I don't know. What do you think, Nick Litchie? Now let's move on to Venusian Peach. This is a peachy nude. And I think this is lighter than my actual lip color. So it may turn out a little bit funny on me, but we'll just have to see. So this is Venusian Peach on me and I personally think it's a little bit too light that it shows up a little bit neon kind of a vibe um, Maybe you cannot really tell that through, uh, through the screen here but I can definitely see that and I'm also like kind of a yellow and not very fair so this kind of a color is too light for me What do you think? Uh? One last one is Entranced. This is a warm flesh rose, which is uh, much darker than the previous three shades. So this is um, entrance down me and of course you're gonna apparently feel better when you put on like a classic red lipstick and I really love the texture of Satin Allure because for this kind of a more opaque shade without too being too opaque or too breathtaking it still retains that um, just a bit a little bit of freshness so 
It's kind of like a strawberry shade, but on the other side, it's like a classic red. I love this shade. Okay, that's everything from this Pat McGrath with Bradgerton second time of collaboration collection. Um, what are your thoughts? So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I really don't like this second palette compared to, especially compared to the first one. Maybe because uh, of my skin tone, which uh, I think the first palette, Diamond of the First Water, the colors are much more um, easier for me to handle, much more flattering. As much as I love this kind of a gold green, I already have it in my Mothership a Subversive palette and to be honest, I don't really use this color that often. So when it appears again in this palette, it is like, you know, um, well, it's out of my comfort zone. I could use it, but I, I, I'm I, pretty sure it won't be as flattering as, let's say, um, you know, this um, blue color flipping to almost like a pink nude. This is much easier for me to wear. So I definitely really do not love this one as much as I do for the first one. But if you uh, are someone who prefers different style of makeup, you have different skin tone, different eye colors, different, just different from me. Maybe you're gonna appreciate this more. After all, I think this gold green color is really beautiful on its own. Although um, um, I think it didn't work out for me quite well. And I also feel like this astral shade in the second palette is much flakier than the first one. So much so, it is really similar to Hotokian Dream. So my advice, just use a glitter glue, anything like that, or otherwise you're gonna end up like me. And for the lipsticks, I have to say I really love the formula. I think the um, coverage uh, ability, I, I mean, the, 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 the degree to where this uh, lipstick shade is covering up my own lip color is satisfying. I think it's more than like 60% or 70%. It's not as intense as a matte, of course, but still, I think it achieves whatever was swatched on my arm and to my lip, uh, lips. And um, I love the Nicology as well as the last one, it's called Entrance. For the other two, I think Veiled Rose is probably too cool for me, which requires me to wear some style of makeup in particular that it will be flattering rather than, you know, making me feel feel like I am uh, de right, uh, deprived of sleep. Anyway, uh, I think Venusian Peach is kind of neon. Maybe if I'm fairer, I will do it. Uh, this would suit me better. So keep that in mind. And I really just love the formulation. It's super uh, comfortable, super nice. Mm, I love everything about this lipstick. Just choose your um, shade that suits you. Um, yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys um, enjoyed today's video. And please don't forget to give a thumbs up or consider subscribing. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.